Hi there guys and welcome to this video. In this video uh, we'll be looking at the features of Windows XP. This is part of the Windows History series so this is episode 2. Okay, so Windows XP. Windows XP was one of the best operating systems out there uh, for the time and probably still is. Uh, some people may agree with me on that, some people may not. Um, I mean, as the release of Windows 8 the other day, um, some people may be reconsidering their their best operating, operating system. Um, but yeah, as, as I say, we're on XP, so um, this is installed in a virtual machine. Uh, I like XP, I think it's the best OS that Microsoft ever made. Um, best, better than Windows 7 in my opinion. Better than Windows 8 and definitely better than Vista. But obviously we may um, disagree with that. Okay, so in Windows XP one of the, the newest up, most update things was the new Lunar UI. Okay, so that's like the uh, the blue taskbar which could be customised by going into the appearance where it said Windows XP style you could change it to say silver and it would apply it ok so you weren't stuck with the boring old classic style that you had in Windows 2000 ok so we put it back to the default blue ok so um, Basically that's just a Macintosh copycatting thing uh, that Microsoft did, as they always do and they still do. Um, so yeah, uh, also uh, Windows XP had improved hardware support for the time. So as you would expect, XP supports the latest and or the latest for the time and their the hardware devices at the time. Um, XP gives you support for ATA 100 CD rewritables, DVD RAM, multiple Firewire ports, and in addition, Microsoft. This is the, for the first time. Microsoft offered a 64-bit version of Windows XP. I'm not sure whether any of you guys had that. I did. It wasn't the most compatible with apps, but it was certainly 64-bit, but like that. So also, uh, we have Internet Explorer. And that, in this, is, this is version six. Was the default one that they distributed with the OS. This is really slow today this machine. Um, okay so there we go, Internet oh, Explorer 6 and 128 bit blah blah blah. So there's that. Okay so there's that. Um, in Windows XP you had the Windows Media Player version 8. Um, this one has been upgraded to version 11. Okay but it still followed the same principle. Uh, version 8 was the latest version at the time when it was released back in 2001. Now here's a cool feature in Windows XP, this is something that they brought in um, from, uh, well this is a new feature rather than it wasn't in 2000. Say if you had a problem with a device in the device manager they allowed you to then roll back the driver so it'll say, I actually want to put roll back the device driver. Uh, no for now, but what it did is it meant that if any device was causing trouble uh, because of a new driver that, that had been installed, you could roll it back and it would essentially go back to how it was. So you, you can sort of eliminate problems with devices that, that may cause your computer to fail. Uh, also, you had a built in CD burner. So, as you can see, you can click right far to the CD. Okay. Obviously, need to drag some files from the sample pictures that, that were introduced and put it in there. And then we can write the files to the CD. I'm not going to do that because I'm not wasting CD on a stupid picture. But, yeah, basically, that, that that's how it works. Okay, so let's close that. Um, basically, it also supported the use of an internet connection firewall. So, it's enhanced the um, sort of security of the computer 
it prevented intruders from accessing the XP system because it was much easier to um, access it from in Windows 2000 because it didn't have uh, such a firewall. Um, so it used packet filtering to, to block the LAN point to point protocol over Ethernet, VPN, dial up network traffic. So, um, also, it was the first firewall or or the first OS that had the firewall that could support the UPnP which is the uh, automatic protocol um, port mapping so there's that uh, it actually supported remote desktop which was very cool um, at the time so you ticked allow you to connect remotely and applied that and it allowed you to then um, connect to your computer as if you were sitting at your computer from a different place which was quite an advantage for, uh, for business users okay and it also incorporated remote assistance you had remote assistance so you could invite someone to help you uh, obviously that's not working for some reason um, and you could view your inv invitation status so it created a file that you then say email for some, uh, to somebody and then they could connect to your computer it, it automatically authorised them which was very very cool at the time so thanks for watching this video on Windows XP um, Please check out my forums at www.benstechtips.co.cc The link is in the bottom corner of the screen. Um, please comment below saying whether you owned Windows XP. I'm sure that most of you did because it's brilliant. Um, what you liked about Windows XP, what you didn't like about Windows XP and was it better than 2000 in your opinion. Okay then, so thanks for watching my video. Please like, rate, comment and subscribe. Um, yeah, please check out my forums and check out my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Ben's Tech Tips.